Lucifer, all right, is smart. The devil knows stuff, right? He doesn't know everything, all right? But the point here to this, the end of this whole thing for Peter is the fact that um, the angels would love to be participating in this whole issue of passing the gospel along to the next guy. They cannot, all right? That's our job, all right? That's our responsibility, all right? The prophets searched intently. They found Christ. Christ has come, all right? He has gone. We're in between the sufferings and the glories to come, all right? And Peter's point is here, the angels would love to be, be the guy that's bringing the next person to know Christ, the next person, all right, to come in uh, to a different uh, spiritual way of life. They can't. They don't get that privilege. We do. We get it. All right? And it is a privilege. All right, Thelma? Uh, I guess I was going to say, I have a footnote at the bottom of my Bible. It says that they were looking into God's work of saving people. Yeah. That's what I found it. But they're not the ones doing it. No. All right? God did send some angels. There's no doubt about that. You can look back. He did send. Gabriel came, announced, and there were certain times when the angels did actually come down and do some work. But in general, all right, and they're not out and about preaching the gospel. All right? Angels, you know, we talked about, well, you know, you don't know whether an angel's standing next door or what you guys is an angel about. All right? But they're not the guys that are that are preaching the, the gospel. It's us. It's our responsibility. Okay? We're good, then. That's the end of this one. Any other miscellaneous random questions? Well, I yes. just... I just find it interesting in this whole section, uh, the prophets, what they were looking for and what they actually got. Uh, they were looking for the grace, and, uh, but what God gave them was, okay, here's the suffering I'm going to have to go through. And uh, and you're not, this isn't for you, you're actually serving someone. So it was a little different than what they set out. Oh, they are very much different. And they only had little pieces, right? One one prophet got this little piece, the next got this little piece, the next got this piece, and then when you put all the pieces together, here's Christ. That's why so many of the, the Jews today miss it. They don't put all the pieces together. They're still looking. All right. But the point here is they did all of that for us. Who is this? You know, as you read the Old Testament, you see that, um, you know, like, they did have the opportunity to see if they were telling the truth, because that's one of the things that made it confusing to people of the end days. They give, they give prophecies that are going to happen now, and then sewn into those prophecies are the things that are going to happen in the future. And so they have the opportunity to see this person really is a prophet, but then intermingled. You know, Micah says he's going to be born in Bethlehem. Isaiah has a lot. But they're all intermingled in those prophecies. And so you've got the present and you've got the future. All intermingled. As confusing that is as it is for us today. It's still confusing for us today, right? We still read and think, I don't quite understand whatever. As confusing as it is today for us, far more difficult for them. Nancy, do you have... I, I just had a question. I, I looked at you who wants to get that list of prophets. But how did you get that list? Do we know? Probably a Vines cross-reference oh. or a something like that. Because I've got a... You know, Vines has that yeah, really big... Yeah. I, I go to different various places and they'll take me to one place and I don't like that, but it takes me to the next place. Of course, talked about the same thing. Sometimes you end up looping two or three different places till you find what you're really looking for. Okay. Right. Uh, your comment uh, on the wise men uh, being, uh, I forget what you said, tutored or something by Daniel. Yes. Uh, I found that really interesting. I'd love to hear some more on that sometime in the future. Okay. I do have a whole, I have a whole hour's worth that okay. we talked about that. Interesting. That's, yeah. That's why they knew it was, it was Daniel who was the chief teacher at that time, that's how they knew. His name. Okay, how, did Daniel, how did Daniel know? He, he, he was the Magian. Yes. Which yes. Where the word Magi derives from. Yep. He was the head Magi. So that's how we use it. All right. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you so much for uh, for your word for.
fact that it comes alive and that as we break down the words and understand the history, it, uh, it just gives us some responsibility to uh, be those that have to uh, send out the good news and the gospel to uh, those around us. So we just thank you again for uh, Peter's book. We thank you for the study and we just praise you for how we can uh, then take this out into the world, that we can take it into uh, our work or wherever we have to be. So we just praise you again. Thank you. And we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, <laughs>